uh, or have been incarcerated, it's hard for them to uh, get a job and provide for their family um, uh, with those felonies on, on their background. Uh, juveniles are not able to have any employment because of their age or they're just not jobs that's willing to give them a chance or to try them out. Uh, when we look at the economics, most uh, in the black community, not many of them is making more than minimum wage uh, because of the educational background of where they don't have a great education. When we look at a lot of schools in our black community, especially here in Nashville, their, their test scores are so much lower than schools that are outside of the demographic of where we live at in the uh, poverty uh, places in Nashville that we are. And the personal issue that I see is that because of the parents and what they are accustomed to, what they have been taught, what, what they have gone through in their lives, they're teaching their kids the same thing. So uh, they, they're just prone to what they've been taught, what they see, uh, their environment, and uh, is calling, causing a dilemma with our black males because they're becoming what their environment is. And uh, I just believe if, if we had a better economical system for our black community with, with great educational uh, background there to support uh, them to be able to get their economical ways together. I think the, p the personal problem with the parenting and the child would be totally different, but that's what we deal with a lot of times. Mm -hmm. We find that the parents are not uh, as involved and engaged in their life as they should be. We care more for the kids than they do. They drop them off at the front door, mm -hmm. they leave them. They don't come inside to see what the program is about. Uh, a lot of times they might not even drop them off. They give them a little bit of bus fare mm -hmm. and tell them to get there the best way they can. So uh, I, I think that there's a big overall picture that we can't just uh, uh, key in on one point uh, dealing with the uh, dilemma with our young black males in America. You know, uh, Bishop Campbell, uh, what I'd like to understand, and perhaps you might be able to give us some information in reference to this, do you think it would be cost effective for uh, our governmental officials to provide our young men and women with some kind of employment instead of simply refusing to do anything in that direction? Do you think that that would help us out? It would help us greatly. You know, uh, being in the faith-based community, we have a saying of, of uh, what we say is, the idle mind is the devil's workshop. And I believe that these young uh, uh, teenagers, our juveniles, had an opportunity of employment, that it would teach them leadership, teach them responsibility, uh, uh, give them a great reference, a great start in their life, to show them that you have to work for what you want and uh, not go out and take it from somebody else or, or, or selling to destroy somebody else's life to be able to benefit your own pocket. What about you, uh, Brother Waller? Dr. Haney, what I know about the, uh, the youth and people as a whole in our community, this is a trap. And what happens when a trap is set for you, you don't see